My fellow Bahamians, today, on Sir Randall Fox Labor Day, we remember and pay tribute to the heroes and heroines of the labor movement on whose shoulders we proudly stand. We also celebrate the workers of our Bahamas, the people whose blood, toil, sweat and tears built this country. Now, more than ever, we must jealously guard and promote the rights and protections of workers. This was the cause for which luminaries like Sir Randall Fox and Sir Clifford Darling so bravely fought. Even when things are going well, we must be ever vigilant to ensure that workers remain an essential part of the national conversation, that their voices are heard and heeded. In these challenging economic times, we must be even more vigilant as some employers seem ready to use these extraordinary circumstances to exploit the economic vulnerabilities of our workers. We cannot let this happen. And just when Bahamians need a caring and fair-minded government to stand up and stand in to ensure that social and economic justice prevails, this ethnic government continues to side with the rich and the powerful and to fail the Bahamian workers. We cannot let this continue. This continuing state of emergency, which allows employers to ignore the rights of workers, must end. Enough is enough. Whether he calls himself the competent authority or not, the Prime Minister must allow for the full restoration of democracy in this our Bahamas. Our people will not forever stand idly by and allow their fundamental rights to be waved aside. On the 1st and 2nd of June, 1942, the Boehmer Road riots were a seminal event when the Bahamian people stood up against the gross violation of their basic human rights and said, no more. 79 years later, as we remember the Boehmer Road riots, and on this, the 60th anniversary of Sir Randall Fox Labor Day, the Progressive Liberal Party stands firm with the workers of this country. So many of the hard-fought freedoms we enjoy today were made possible through the partnership between the labor movement and the Progressive Liberal Party. We cherish this long-standing relationship and renew our commitment to solidarity, a new memorandum of understanding, social and economic justice for all, as we work together in good faith and in a spirit of mutual respect to build this country that we love so much. On behalf of my wife, Anne-Marie, Deputy Leader I. Chester Cooper, Chairman Senator Fred Mitchell, officers and members of the Progressive Liberal Party, I wish the workers of our beloved Bahamas a happy 60th Sir Randall Fox Labor Day. May Almighty God continue to bless you and bless the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. <laughs>